Pwn your body, pwn your body, pwn your body Pwn your body Getting this workout in It's a day off from set But it doesn't mean a day off of work Gotta keep your mind, your body, and your soul healthy So just getting this little workout in Ran a couple of miles Hitting the weights right now And uh yeah, today's the wrap party for the film. I'm pretty excited about that. One step closer to finishing this. Usually wrap parties are at the end, like as soon as you finish or a couple weeks after you finish, but being that we're in Portland, nobody's gonna come back. Um, we're having it today. And then we finish filming, I think Friday or Saturday. And I go back to LA, continue. We get to stretch on the album, all the music videos, everything is gonna be put into play. Doesn't matter where you're from, it doesn't matter what your profession and what you aspire to be. You just have to go full throttle 100%. If you feel like you're not doing enough, it's more than likely because you're not. And I get it, we can be super busy sometimes and how much can we possibly throw on our schedule? You don't wanna overwhelm yourself. But no, you can take it. Add to yourself, build your brand, and know that you are just as strong as the amount of hours that you put into yourself and you put into your legacy. You can't complain about where you are in your life and still have time to watch another show or another season of, of, of Breaking Bad or something like that. No, you gotta take the time to, to sacrifice um, uh, you know, the things that you used to like to do because in all honesty, you can do those things when you make it. You can relax when you die. And I mean that in the best way possible. Everyone is meant to be great. Everyone should aspire to be amazing and to help everyone around you. Be optimistic in every single part of your life. You gotta believe it, even when nobody else believes it. You have to maintain that happiness and that's your responsibility to shine light on others and for other people to wonder, dang, why is that guy so damn happy? Why is, why is he, uh, you know, why is he always shining up the room? Even when, even when it could be a tornado going on outside, this guy is always smiling. Make them wonder what it is that you're on, what drug it is that you're on, which is life, which is success. We all can do that. So yeah, with that being said, let's take over the day. All right, so it's Sunday, the day of the rap party. Um, rap parties are when you're done filming a uh, production. Um, usually the, the director, the producers, the actors, the cast and the crew, they throw a party in celebration of all the hard work that was put into the actual project that was being done. In this case, Bad Samaritan, we are celebrating. Um, I'm super excited for you guys to see this film put a lot of hard work into this film. Um, Dean Devlin is absolutely phenomenal director. Um, my homeboy Robert Sheehan is on his way over here. We're about to tear the city up. We're about to get a drink before we actually head to the rap party. Um, I don't actually know the name of it. It's in the email, it's in the email. But I'm super excited. Um, with that being said, uh, gratitude. You know, we always have to be grateful for everything. Um, even the little things. We need to celebrate every single success, whether it be big or small. And I tell people that you have the power to change the world, whether that is you inventing this absolute app that brings people united together, that changes lives. Um, you come up with a vitamin or, or, or an ingredient that helps save people's lives. You cure cancer. You, you uh, come up with music that's gonna change, up, change the world. You paint a painting that's gonna bring and unify the world. Just, there's so many things that you can do. It, does, just, it doesn't even matter. Just put your heart into everything that you do. Dedicate your mind, your soul, and your heart. And everything will be all right. Everything will take place, honestly. Don't try to fake anything or force anything that's not meant to be, and don't try to be anything that you're not. And celebrate wisely. Always look for the goal, aim for the goal, and don't let the goal be the end result because our goals, we will eventually hit. That's the plan. That's the whole purpose of making a goal, to hit it. When you do, that's when you have to start thinking of in different directions, in a different mentality. How can I better myself, better my company, better my legacy, double what I just did, triple? If not, do something completely different. Build a legacy, do it with ease, do it with gratitude. Be grateful. Let's enjoy this rap party. Hey. I'm pretty much done with uh, my homeboy Gary V's, Gary Vaynerchuk's book. Um, 
It's an absolutely phenomenal, amazing, 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 amazing book. And uh, one entrepreneur's take on leadership, social media, and self-awareness. I definitely recommend this book to anybody that is looking to better themselves, their business, their company. Just with these books here, pretty much it was like, you know, a good 80 bucks. And to me, that's awesome. Yo, 80 bucks, but you know how much probably millions of dollars I just walked out with? I'm the one that's lucky right now. So I like to tell people to just pack your mind, pack your soul with knowledge, read, feed yourself. But don't just read, act on it. Set a goal, plan it out, execute it, set more goals, plan it out, formulate, build a legacy, build your brand, and add to what you have. How big is your knowledge? How much money are you willing to spend to invest in your brain? You don't necessarily need to be in college to continue to fill your brain full of knowledge. There's a bookstore everywhere, you, well, maybe not everywhere you go, but I'm pretty sure that if you just ask Siri, Siri knows everything, you will find a bookstore near you. Read on things that you wanna know about that can better yourself and better your future, that can help your brand and help who you are as a person. If you're a boss, Learn how to be a good one. Take care of your employees. Make good investments. Take over the world, people. Over here getting a drink at one of the bars over here by the hotel. Homie Robert. I went to the bathroom right now, but... It's a place I always used to come. Come here at least like a good like 10 times since I've been here. You have a marker on you. Mark. Oh yeah, because I'm just walking around carrying a mark. Do you have a pen? So Robert was just asking for a pen. He just came out of the bathroom asking for a pen. And I'm like, why the hell would I have a pen or a marker? He said he wants to write something over the, the urinal or over the toilet in the bathroom. <laughs> that's, that's Robert for you. Right. What are you going to write? It's, it's, too, it's too hard to explain without seeing what's already written on the walls. In the gotta, it's got to be original, man, because if I ever come back here to Portland, ever, and I go in there without knowing who it is, I want to be able to read it as I'm pissing you won't and know it's, know it's you. You won't know it's me. Oh. That's, <laughs> listen, you can't write something. Trying to, it's got to be like an inspiration, like a, 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 a pun, something that people can live by, you man. Leave initials. <laughs> Well, uh, my team in Portland, last week here, I'm pretty excited, I'm pretty pumped. Life is great. Pwn your body, pwn your body, pwn your body, pwn your body.